Well, that's not good. It looks like the power supply has got some problem on it. This is my Blankpult DAB radio slash Bluetooth speaker, uh, which I kind of have plugged into my Bose um, PC speakers. So I use it like a amplifier preamp type thing. Um, I've also, over the years, I've added uh, the QI charger. Um, so you can just put your phone on top while you're playing music and it charges the phone wirelessly. But now it's developed this rather curious sound effect. Um, so I think it might be a bad capacitor on the power supply, but we'll see if we can fix it. So over the years I've um, added an extra 5 volt supply so that um, it powers the uh, QI wireless charger and also that the USB output is more powerful so it can charge your phone better. Um, but it's just, uh, it's just died on me. I think I've once I think it must be a bad cap or something because once or twice I've turned on and off and let it cool down a bit and then the uh, power supply worked again so it's a bit temperamental so I was hoping to recreate the fault and now that it did hopefully now we can fix it because there's nothing worse than intermittent fault so this is the main power supply for the unit. It's the main power supply. It's my extra 5 volt power supply. A bit of hot snot there. And that looks like the Bluetooth um, receiver. Which is the main function. That's the main use I get out of this thing. Is really just Bluetooth for my Bose speakers. Which at the time didn't have Bluetooth. I think if we unscrew this power point here. Give us better access. So let's take a look. There's a little switch mode power supply. I have literally stolen the to the main incoming supply off of this board, bridge it across to that board. It's not the prettiest job. So, I need to try and work out which capacitor is causing the problem. This is the main incoming filter capacitor. So, I'm just going to make sure that's discharged because I don't want a nasty surprise. Yeah, it's discharged. I think this must be a startup capacitor. Sometimes they cause that pulsing of the power supply. So, um, we could try and replace, just replace that. So on the output, it is pulsing 12 volt. So it is definitely the power supply. Very odd. So if I'm careful, I can probe the, the incoming mains voltage. And it's been rectified and smoothed to 317 volts. So I think that part of the circuit, that capacitor is fine. Carries on even after it's unplugged a bit. Discharged. Right. 
I've unsolded the little Kickstarter um, startup power supply starting capacitor that starts the power supply, which uh, sits there. Um, and I've also removed a little ceramic uh, SMD capacitor from the board because sometimes they they go faulty and, and they get stressed from soldering. Um, it tests okay, but you never know really with these capacitors. So I don't have the right value, but I've got a, a slightly higher value, 33 microfarad, but I'm, I'm sure it'll work as a bootstrapping capacitor. So if we make sure the polarity is correct, solder it in there. Trouble with these type of faults is they tend to be intermittent as they cool, as the capacitor cools down. You go this in there, just solder in. As the capacitor cools down, it can behave again. Or if it warms up, it can behave again. But we'll get rid of that little ceramic capacitor there. And we might tack one instead of an SMD, we'll tack this. It'll probably work without it. We'll tack this across there. It's quite common to put a, a ceramic capacitor um, in parallel with the electrolytic because the higher frequencies, the electrolytic um, has quite a high resistance. So even in a small value ceramic capacitor can make a big difference. Bodge. Let's give that a little test. See if she behaves a little bit better now. Plug the main power in. It's turned on, seems to have cured the fault. Um, so I would say that's probably fixed. I've had this before that uh, the power supply would just start behaving again. But uh, let's test the output voltage, see if it stays steady at, at 12 volt. We've got a steady 12 volt output now. So let's assume that's fixed. Let's put it back together and see if she, if she works now. But so far it seems like that's fixed, which is uh, a good result. Just this little 22 microfarad bootstrapping capacitor and the little ceramic cap that I removed, the SMD cap. Pop the little protective shroud back on. That seems to be a good result. I didn't want to throw it away since I've added the QR charging for the phone. Got it plumbed into my little Bose um, speakers. So uh, hopefully get a few more years worth of service life out of this uh, little radio. Thanks for watching guys, stick around for the next one, see you later. <laughs>